This video is on how to crop a photo in Photoshop. I've got Photoshop open and I'm going to bring in a photo. So I'm going to go file open. I'm going to navigate on my desktop where I've saved that photo. And I have it right here and I'm going to open it. Okay, so there's the photo. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the crop tool. The crop tool is located right here. I'm going to click on the crop tool. And as you can see that there's already a crop kind of set in place. The reason that is, is I've cropped something previously. So it's kind of stuck in there. To get rid of this crop, you go up to the top here and clear. Okay. Then you go ahead and just maybe go back to the very top tool and then back to the crop tool. Now you may not have a crop set in there, but I did because I have previously cropped something and it gets kind of, it's kind of a sticky setting. So what I can do is go inside this photo and I can go to the top here and I can pull down. I can pull up. I can even move that photo within that crop setting. Again, I can custom crop it that way. If I'm happy with the crop, all I need to do is hit my return key and I've got a crop set in place. Now I'm going to actually hit undo a few times because I want to do something that is more of a custom crop than that, meaning I want to set a particular width and height. So I'm just going to go edit, undo crop. Okay. So I'm going back to the crop tool again. And notice at the top here where you've got width, height, and resolution. I can come in here and I can put a width. So I can, maybe I want this to be um, 600 by 400. So I'm going to put the width of 600. Don't forget that you need pixels, PX for pixels. Then I'm going to put 400. PX. Again, make sure that it's not inches. I'm going to go ahead and put a resolution for the web, which is 72 in here. And what I can do is go click inside and move that image around within that set crop. When you're happy with that crop, you can go ahead and hit your return key twice and it resizes that photo. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in with my zoom tool here to see a little bit better. Now I'm zoomed a little bit too much. Maybe I'll zoom out a little bit. If I hit my option key, my zoom tool turns into a negative. All right, now I want to save this for the web, okay? Because I'm going to put this on a website. So I'm going to go File, Export, Export As, when this dialog box opens up, what I want to do is set the format that's needed. Right now, the default is JPEG, but maybe I want it to be a PNG. So I'm going to set it as PNG. Okay. It's the size that I want it to be. Okay, so I'm fine with the setting here. I'm not going to change the canvas size the metadata, the color space, I'm all I'm good with all that, so I'm going to say export. Now Photoshop wants to know where I want to save it. I'm going to save it to my Art116 folder, my name folder, my images folder, and then I'm going to rename this, okay? And I'm going to call it bare photo and I'll call it one. Notice that the name has no spaces in it and I'm just using a hyphen to separate those words and I'm going to save. Okay, I'll do that one more time. I'm going to go file open, going to navigate to another photo that I had saved on my desktop and I'm going to open it. Okay, going to the crop tool, I can put in a custom crop. Again, width, height, and resolution. So width, height, and resolution. Or I could kind of just come in and I could crop it in any manner that I wanted to. Kind of freehand. 
but I'm going to set it at a particular width and height. So I'm coming in here, I'm going to put, um, I'll do 750 pixels, PX. I'm going to do a height of 250 PX. I can move the photo around. I have to make sure that I'm inside this crop area. I can move it around whichever way that I want it to be. Okay. If you're happy with the crop, whoops, not quite yet. What we need to do is put the resolution in here, 72. And if you're hot happy with the crop, you can go ahead and hit your return key twice and it sets that in there. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in. And just to prove that it is the right size, I can go under image, image size. Try that again. Image, image size. Brings open this dialog box. I can see that the dimensions are 750 by 250 pixels. That's exactly what I need. Just say OK. And then I can export it for the web. I can go File export oops lost that menu export as okay taking a little bit of time for that to load now depending on what you're supposed to save this as and i'm referring to maybe a class exercise i'm going to choose the format maybe this time it's supposed to be a jpeg i'll leave it at a jpeg I'm good with the image size, the canvas size, the metadata and color space. And all I need to do is export. And I'm going to hit export. I'm going to make sure that I save it to my website image folder. So I'm going to click into Art116, my name folder, my images folder, and I will change the name. And by the way, make sure that you're leaving the extension JPEG. So I'm going to go ahead and change it to flower. Um, flower, and maybe I'll, I'll do multiple flowers, so I'm going to do a hyphen and I'll name it 01, and I'm going to save it. All right, that is the crop tool.